manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. What? All right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? I, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and all blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one here. Sadness? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. What the hell happened here? It still works. Someone's been using it. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. Someone jotted this down recently. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. There we go. That's as far as it goes. There. could absorb some of that energy. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. for another dive. Oh, gotta check the wiring. I hate to get stuck in there. Ah, uh ah. -huh. 
Uh, figures. There's got to be a way to power it up. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. <gasps> let's see if it worked. Okay, let's get the rest of me in there. I'll never get used to this. Nope. Doesn't work. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. That's one. Two more to go. This should come in handy. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain. That's all of them. Looks like there's a train missing. That's too quick. It needs longer exposure. Oh, missed my window. Now it's overexposed. Two 
too soon. It needs to stay in longer. Too soon. It needs to stay in longer. Who's there? Hello? Are you all right? Don't. Don't. Look at me! Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures.
Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Huh? 